Okay, everybody, this is going to be like somewhat of a story time, chit chat, my usual. Um, I did go to DT yesterday and I filmed the stupid entire video after I got back. And instead of hitting share, I hit delete because I wasn't wearing glasses. So I sort of had to, thank God I put everything sort of back where it was and then I had to get some other stuff out. Um, what I wanted to share with you is <sighs> two days ago, as I had said in a previous video, I need to have the sewer lines checked. I need to have a pest inspection, which is today. And then I have to have like a building inspection or maybe there's another term. I don't know, which is tomorrow. So the sewer, which I totally expected was going to happen because this house is Good God, it's 55 years old. Um, yeah, oh my God, I didn't, even, I didn't even think about that. So it was built in 1962, and we never had anything done to sewer lines, checking them, seeing if they were okay. So long story short, the test failed. So the concerning part is, the scary part is, is not you know things can still move forward but I don't know how exactly things work so I need to talk to my realtor she's coming today um, when the termite inspection person comes at one um, so my understanding is it's a small section of, of all places but I mean thank God I guess I guess I wish it would have been the sidewalk but the driveway of all places, it's like 24 by 24, that they need to break through. Hence, then they have to fill it full of concrete and you know, it's just, and I think, um, she sent me the letter and the bid last night via email. And honestly, I checked it at one o'clock in the morning cause I was, I fell asleep early. Um, I think it said $7,000, no lie. So I was like, oh my God, help me, Jesus. Let me just check the time. Um, so I need to really talk to her about that and see how fast we can get this done because not only do they have to break open the concrete, fix what needs to be fixed, probably leave it open, do their test again, see if it passes, and then fill it up. I mean, this is not, you know... In, in my opinion, like, I don't know, you know, and then there's their schedule and all this stuff. So, like, it's always one step forward, five steps back in my world. But, um, anyway, I wanted to share with you um, the property that I love, that I will be, God willing, as far as I know, um, as it stands right now, I'll be putting a bid on... I believe on Tuesday they're taking bids on the 11th. So thank God, hopefully that is still the case because um, this house just went on the market last Saturday. I'm gonna be seeing it again this Sunday just, you know, because you see things one time and then, you know, I saw six properties on Sunday. So I wanna make sure even with the brochure I'm gonna show you, um, you know, I wanna take videos, I wanna take my own pictures I want to measure the garage, blah, blah, blah. So I'm going to go back there on Sunday. But um, I love it. It fits my needs. It's three bedrooms, two baths, um, about 1,200 square feet. This house is 2,500 square feet. So it's considerably less, but I mean, I'm one person, granted with a lot of animals, but... Um, there's a method to my madness. So, and I did cover up addresses and stuff because obviously this is not my property. And even if it was, I don't want everybody, you know, knowing my business. So, and it's going to be fast. So, you know, I don't want anybody, I won't even say what I don't want anybody doing. But anyway, um, this is the front. And then inside, that's the living room. And then this is the side of the kitchen. This is the actual kitchen. Nice, right? I like the um, I like the microwave up out of my way. I've always wanted that. 
And I like even the stain on the cabinets. Um, and believe you me, I've seen some pretty, like, I love the house, I love the bedrooms, I love the layout, I love the location. And then you get to the kitchen, you're like, dear God in heaven, what were you thinking? It's like a 1940s kitchen, but then the rest of the house has been updated. And I'm like, I can't, I can't go through this again. Because I've already done this, and I'm not doing this again. I mean, I'm not doing it. So, one bedroom, bath, hallway, um, the other bath. And I don't know. I think this is the master bath. I'm not, see, I'm not even sure. No, I guess it's not. I don't know. See, I need to like take pictures, label the pictures because I don't even know what I'm looking at. And then um, the other room, another room. And then um, this I think is the master. And then this little gem right here actually, and it's sort of hard to tell, is an outside, yeah, right here. It's outside and it's attached to the detached garage, which is a godsend because that's going to be the cat's room, apartment, life, whatever you want to call it. It's, you know, it's a full on bedroom. It has windows. It has electricity. It has, I don't think it has heat. I mean, I would be surprised if it did. They don't really need heat because hello, they're, they're outside now. Anyway, um, but just the fact that they have electricity and a beautiful window and it's off of the garage is amazing. So, I mean, that, that's incredible. So, and then this is the other half of the, um, uh, backyard and then this is the backyard itself so I mean looking at it it looks pretty vast but when you go there it's really not it's really probably half of my current backyard um, maybe less but just the fact that the girls would have a safe place um, to go in the backyard and have their own grass I mean it's been a minute it's probably been five years since I put grass in the back because hello, California's in a drought. And so they don't really take, you know, kindly if you're putting grass in your backyard because you can't really water it. So I don't know how, you know, to upkeep this crap, but that's down the road. So prayers, please. If this is the right decision, if this is the right property, if this is the right price, um, it, by the way, it is the right price. Um, there isn't really much else to look at in my price range, which is um, very odd. Maybe something's going to come on the market today or tomorrow or Saturday. But right now, um, I love it. I want it. And I pray to God I get it. So anyways, enough of that. I just wanted to share with you, um, you know, what was going on and what the place looks like. So let's get to this DT business. Um, let me take a sippy. I don't think I told anybody I am off of caffeine completely 1000%. So all I drink is water, decaf coffee, um, diet seven up here and there. And then I found, um, LaCroix, I think it's called. It's the, um, basically it's club soda with lime. So, but what I got yesterday and I got three of these, um, it is 23 grams of sugar. It is uh, 29 carbs. It is no sodium. Um, it is no fat. But just the fact it's got 23 grams of sugar, I mean, I'll probably like suck on this for hours or just drink half. I don't know. So it's the Pellegrino or the San Pellegrino. Um, normally I get the blood orange, but I've already got the blood orange um, in a bottle. So that's why I didn't get any more. And then I finally decided to buy the SureSense, which is the knockoff. You can use it in the Glade, the Lysol, the Airwick dispenser, supposedly. So I'll be doing a review on this because my dispensers, I don't think they have batteries in them. Um, so I'll need to check that out and then um, do a review on this later on to see if it actually works. But I've been wanting to get that for the longest time. I don't even know why I got this. It was in a random spot. I thought, well, you never know if I need adhesive spray. Like I craft so much. So it's a little one. I got one of these. Um, 
These are new to me. They are not the apple people because I am sick of those. And they're not the peaches, obviously strawberries. And when I did my video yesterday, I did a taste test. And this is what they actually look like. Legit strawberries. Dried. And they're a little hard. A lot hard. But they are very flavorful. They're sweet, but they're a little tart. They're just really, really, really good. No sodium, no fat, just low in sugar. Um, 60 calories for this entire thing, which is, you know, basically that much. But these are the bomb. Actually, I'm going to leave these over here because I'm going to have me a snack. Considering I've been up since 6 o'clock again. Um... Then I'm always giving things away, be it, I don't know, a lot of dog bone cookies to my neighbor, um, or just some kind of, I don't know what I give away, but I'm always looking for bags, because I mean, it's sort of ghetto to be giving people stuff in Gladlock, Gladlock bags, or you know, the Salem things, so... I just got these just to have them on hand. And like an ass, I forgot oatmeal yesterday. I forgot uh, the actual, you know, sandwich bags, the gallon bags. I should have brought a list, and I just, I didn't. Um, these are the bomb. If you ever find them, get them. They definitely, definitely do make a difference, opposed to the Dollar Tree knockoff green bottle gel cascade. Because I, I mean, I just buy that because it's a buck. But I mean, I used one of these and I'm like, wow, the dishes really did come out super, super clean. So I just got two of these. I'm not buying them again because, I mean, when you stop and think about it, it's sort of expensive. And I finally, finally, finally found my little desired and loved coffee baskets. Now, as you notice, they are not attached and they work really really well um the only thing is i had a complaint about this morning and i don't know if i was just tired or stupid or what the deal was but they seal really well the thing is how do you get them off i literally had to take a pen and put it in here and pop the damn thing off because i you know, I mean, I don't know if people use their nails. I guess they use your nails. But, I mean, it seals really good. That's a good thing. It just drives me crazy that you just can't simply pop it off. But um, do watch this because they have two packs for a dollar or they have the one for a dollar. So you just have to look and see um, what you're getting. And trust me, I'm getting two for a buck versus one for a buck. Absolutely. And then I've been using a lot of candles um, because of the open house and everything, which God willing is done, but one never knows. So I love lemon. I love intimates. And it seems to smell really good. So this is the candle. And it's uh, like two-thirds full, but... It smells, it smells decent. I mean, I can't say it smells like, oh my God, I can't wait to burn this thing, but we'll see. Then um, I got some sponges. I already put some away. Two packages of those. And um, this is a repurchase. I will talk about these. If you have a cat box, um, these are fantastic to put under because all the, you know, the litter or their if they aim incorrectly, let's just say they're super, super big. They're 30 by 36. And, you know, they could last me, up, one could last me up to a week or one could last me a day. So it just depends on if the little bastards are being cooperative or not. I'm surprised nobody's in here. Um, decided to get two bowls because when I had my dumpster in November, I threw out everything. There is not one dish to be had in this house. And lately I'm finding um, I sort of need just a couple. Didn't go crazy. And then I decided to get um, 
more microfiber towels just for the sink. Wasn't exactly my color. Um, decided to get another shower curtain because the one that I had already bought, I literally was putting it on the hooks and it ripped. So I don't know how long that's going to last, but I mean if it decides to like go, at least I have a backup. And this is also repurchased because my back has been absolutely killing me. So I got this. And then I also got, which is up there, and I don't, it's the little knockoff Tiger Balm. It's in a little tiny container. Um, I love that stuff, and I used it last night. I'm going to use it again this morning. Um, I like it better than this, but um, I just got this because I was out of it. And then um, I got some more charcoal face stuff, and then I got some remover because I am wearing more makeup lately than I have been and I think I had bought these before but I'm not sure so I may do a review on these as well my skin is very sensitive my eyes are very sensitive but thank the dear Lord above I finally have new contact lenses ah, that's a miracle right there and um, we'll see I don't know it just I don't know it just uh, it says hyperallergenic but that doesn't mean jack to me. Um, finally got myself some socks because I lose these every five seconds. And I like them because they don't show if you're wearing like, you know, capris, yoga pants. I hate when my socks show. So those. Um, I was almost all out of shampoo. And then here's the other um, scrub buddy. And then um, this I'm putting together. The bad part about shopping is now everything's on the damn floor. Now I'm not, I have to put it all the way. But, uh, my neighbor's little boy is turning four. I thought he was turning five. Thank God she put up um, a Facebook post. Um, his birthday was yesterday. You know, he's four, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, I got a five card. Five-year-old card. So thank God she put that up so I can get a four card somewhere. I don't know where. But, um... This is his bag, and I just got him. Um, I've never seen this before. So this is a digital crayon. Apparently, you need to download an app. I don't know. Paper to digital coloring pack Hot Wheels. So I don't know. I don't care. It's just you use regular crayons, and then you take the digital crayon where you left off. I don't know. Blah, blah, blah. I got that and then um, because I thought he was starting kindergarten but I mean you know it doesn't hurt to start early hence early skills um, I got the shapes and sizes the Winnie the Pooh and alphabet and the numbers learning sticker book and this kid loves him some stickers so I figured the mother would love me because it's not all candy like I generally do and he loves the minions. So I got him the bubble bath, the banana, and then um, grab a bubble. And I want to keep this for myself because I used to love this, but I'm not going to obviously. The original silly putty. So, and then um, a grab and go play pack, the minions, because this kid is always on the go. And. Uh, just filler for the bag itself and these I've never seen pop rocks crackling gum this kid loves pop rocks he found it so I mean I got him I guess it was probably a year ago I don't know maybe it was last year's Easter basket you know chock full and this kid was like hovering around one thing these but I mean they were the regular ones so I got two of the regular and then three of the crackling gum ones. So yeah, that's what I got him. Just a little something because I'm not, I can't financially do Easter baskets this year. I mean, not for three kids. It was fine when they had one. It was okay when they had two. <sighs> Sorry, I can't do three. So, um... That's what's going on today. I'm already showered, dressed, 
it's kind of a shitty day out, so I don't know if the girls are going to get walks. Um, I'm thinking of possibly, possibly taking the morning off, maybe just watching some mindless TV and preparing for my one o'clock appointment because I don't know where the hell the girls and I are going to go. I mean, we're going to stay here, but my understanding is that this pest inspection or this termite inspection, I mean, he's probably going to give a once over in the house, but it's generally out of the house, um, in the attic, in, in the crawl space and in the crawl space under the house. So if that is the case, and if I can rope these dogs into a certain area, I'll be good. Tomorrow is going to be the challenging part because, you know, a building inspector needs to see everything. And I don't know if it would just be more beneficial for my realtor to be here and us to be gone. That's probably the scenario I'm looking at because it's just not safe to have somebody walking around the house and what am I gonna do, have them on leashes and I'm gonna be screaming and stressed and so we'll see how that goes. But um, please, please continue prayers that all this goes smoothly, all this is going in the order it needs to go and um, you're in my thoughts and prayers as well. I'm sorry I can't watch videos right now. I just, I mean, I know I just said I got one of like, you know, watch TV and stuff, but I just want to just sit there and just watch my DVR, which is chock full of crap, and, and i got to lower the percentage on that, so I'll be back one day watching everybody's video, but right now, not so much, so hope everybody takes care, and I will see y'all soon, bye.